This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See them thinking, see them analyze that data. Listen, a former congressman has been convicted of insider trading. And you know, for them to go after a politician, maybe because he wasn't a sitting politician, is that why they went after him? But Stephen Byer, his name was Stephen Byer, he was a former congressman, and he got indicted yesterday, March 10th, 2023, of insider trading. They, well, they, not they alleged because he was found guilty of using his information that he received as a consultant for T-Mobile when they were going to merge with Sprint. And he utilized that information to make some money. I think about $200,000. Really not even that much money as far as I'm concerned. But the thing that, that, that you know, that peaks my antennas is this. Who did he piss off? I mean, the Department of Justice never goes after politicians. He must have rubbed some people the wrong way. He must have burnt some bridges. I mean, <laughs> he must have did something to the wrong people because we see these politicians inside of trading every single day. We see these guys outperforming the market. You got guys with, you know, hardly any, in, hardly any education whatsoever in the market, yet they're able to outperform the S&P 500. How is that even mathematically possible without insider trading? They're making trades based on decisions that they're making. They know if they're going to vote yes. They know if they're going to vote no. They know if to sell, if to buy. And nobody ever goes after them. So what did Mr. Buyer do that pissed off these people that they tried, They not they tried to make him, they made him a scapegoat. He is now a convicted felon. But... If I was a congressman, after seeing what went down yesterday on March 10, 2023, if I am involved in insider trading, I would be concerned. So all you politicians who are insider trading, the DOJ might come knocking on your door very soon. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the DOJ went after Stephen Byer because he burns his bridges? Because they usually do not go after politicians for insider trading. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.